Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to no, show you, excuse me, we, sorry, we are going to show you how to make a video just like this one, uh, where you are in the same scene, in the same shot, twice, uh, where you are yeah, yeah. well, actually here, because you're future me, well I'm not future you, I am you, I haven't filmed your part yet, I am not future you, I don't know what you're talking about, just trust me, okay, I haven't filmed your part, I haven't filmed your part yet, this guy, Anyway, I'll prove that you're future me. Yeah. Watch this now. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you, we, sorry, we are going to show you how to make a video just like this one, uh, where you are in the same scene or the same shot twice, uh, where you are. Yeah, well, yeah, I'd actually do that. So to achieve this video effect, what you need is firstly a tripod or something that will hold your camera very, very still. Um, because if your camera moves a little bit at all during the filming of either of these two parts, it's going to not work at all. So what you want to do is film yourself uh, with enough space for your other self to appear in the scene. And then you just film that entire part and then you stop the film and without moving your camera or at all you record again the other side but in my instance I actually kept the video recording and I just filmed it in one take because I wanted to have that shot of me going to the other side actually truth be told I had to do quite a number of takes of this and I had to cut out quite a bit here and there because a lot of it just didn't make sense because the timing was completely off um, because I did it unscripted one recommendation I have is to make sure you script what you want to say so you know when you're going to say it and how much gap you need to have between your sentences so that it can be edited together nice and easily. How do we do that in Premiere Pro? Well, well let's have a look at this. So we want to get our two videos and we'll put them into Premiere Pro and we'll create a new video. Now I'm going to assume that you know the basics of how Premiere Pro works so I'm not going to go into all of that. But what you can see here is that we have two videos. The first video is of me on the right and the second video is of me on the left. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them. I'm going to put the one of me on the left on top of the one of me on the right like this. I'm just going to split them open like this. Make sure the audio tracks are separated from each other as well. And then I'm just going to slide one over the top of the other like that. So I've got two video tracks and two audio tracks and this little eye here, this little eye symbol when you click on it, it will hide one of the tracks so you can see that there are the two tracks sitting one on top of the other with me on both sides of the couch. So what we need to do now is we need to select the top track, um, the one with me on the left and we're going to go over to effect controls and then we're going to choose opacity. And you'll see that there's three options. There's a, uh, an ellipse option, a square option, and there's a pen option. So either the pen or the square. In this case, I'm using the square. But essentially what we're doing is we are creating a shape around the section of the video that I want, which in this case is the left-hand side. And I'm actually very lucky because there is a split down the middle of the couch that I can use as a point of reference where um, I can also hide any little bit of a line that you can see between the two videos. So when I recorded mine, I was very careful to make sure that the lighting was fairly well lit and even on both sides to try and avoid any shadows going across the couch so that those shadows would have been cut off in the middle of the video. To try and get around that problem though, what we can do is we can go into the mask area of the opacity section of the effect controls of the particular video, that top layer, and what we can do is we can adjust the edges of the path so we can feather the edge and we can also um, expand on the outside of the edge. Um, as you can see from this little demonstration here, I'm just toying around with it just to get enough of a blur between the two videos so that that harsh edge is not visible. It's a bit hard to tell in this video, but it is certainly there. And what really sells this idea of you really being in the same space as yourself is to actually have um, one version of yourself leaving the scene and then the other version of yourself 
just following after them. Not quite like how I just did it. In fact, let's have a look at an example of another one that I made with a colleague a few years ago, and you'll see what I mean. Where's this Tom Portetti? Place ain't big enough for the two of us. Hey, where you going? Hey. Where's this Tom Portelli? Now yeah, walk out. And then shake your shoulders and walk off. Come back. 